Hey guys, all right, so walk in this morning. I had a project drop off for me yesterday. It's actually kind of good that I had this project because I have been meaning to make this third video on uh, making a key for one of the antique bit locks that's commonly found in the US market in houses that were built from like the 40s to the 60s. And I've done a series of this with two other videos, which I will put links up throughout the video and in the description. So this is going to be part three of that video. And I have had that project sitting on my counter over here. It's actually been occupying my counter top up front since <laughs> I did that last video. And I will be glad to get these out of the way. I did have one of our regular customers who has a house that was built, uh, I think hers was mid 50s. Brought one in that was painted up. We've done the painting, the refurbishing. It's painted up. It is, uh, I did not talk to anybody about a key, but I'm gonna go ahead and make this key for her because I feel like it's probably on one door that she wants to, to use and uh, it may work some of our other locks. So let's get started on it and we're gonna do the complete thing, but I'm gonna shorten some of this video. Um, I'm going to have to take it apart, I'm going to have to refurbish it, and I'm going to have to, well, I'm going to make a key for it, since this is part three of that series, so I can get that series out of the way. Series out of the way. Is maybe a two or three lever sergeant lock. Yes, I can, little Sergeant Lock. Yes, I can. Okay, back to work. So the first thing I'm going to determine is what key blank I want to use. Now, the easiest thing to do, and if we look closely at this one, if you didn't see it earlier, we can see that it does have a ward in the case, which will require a side cut in whatever key that we get, unless we get one of the narrower blanks. And that allows us, allows it to pass by the ward or the side projection there. Uh, and it, this would work perfectly well. I could trim this down, make it work. In fact, here's one that is already trimmed down a little bit and we can put it in there and see go to turn it and of course it doesn't turn because this is a multiple lever lock but the point is is we got past that war but that's no fun we want to make this a little bit more difficult and as i was going through my key blanks i noticed that i had plenty of this wider body blank and let's see if I can get a better reflection there would require me to cut the side cut in the key and this key is very wide compared to others at the tip instead of it being flat it is flared out and that is by design this lock has a flared out keyway so it is ready to accept a key like this. However, this one is a little large, so it will require some trimming. Gonna have to take off most of the side here, most of the side here, some of the tip so that it doesn't look funny. And uh, yeah, we've got plenty of practice material, so let's get started on it. Gotta clean the lock up first. Oh, it's not doing so hot. I hadn't tried it with a knob but um, there's no point doing that till we get that paint cleaned up. So let's go ahead and take it apart. Let's get started working on this lot. First of all, we will need to please clear the area of non essential personnel. Please close the area of all non essential personnel. A flat surface cleaner paper towels the lock scrapers 
of various kinds. A container to soak the lock in. Bigger than that. That'll work. Rubber gloves. Goof off. Oh shit. Well, it's only one lever, but that's okay. Uh oh. Boom, we see our problem. So, guys, there is no fixing that one. Not reliably, anyway. That just put a halt on this video. Well, 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 well. She is sure not going to work like that, huh? Whether it has... Okay, first off, let's take a screenshot of that. Facing this way, the angle, the bevel. And that is very sad. So we are going to have to replace this whole lock. Well, let's go look at that one I was going to do. All right, deciding what to do here. I grabbed one that I uh, had kept for parts. Oh, this is not a Sargent brand, but maybe it'll work. Maybe. And we're gonna carry on refurbishing it. Anyway. In E way. So got real heavy paint build up. Obviously she's never, they've never used the key here. So you kind of have to, well, let's go ahead and get the spring out of the way. Remembering how it went in. And let's move this. So I kind of rock it up and down. try to break this seal sometimes that doesn't work though so let's go ahead and cut and remove these hey I've been meaning to get over there Okay, got all that out. Go ahead and scrape. Oops. Scrape the edges here. Typically, people don't really want the key for these. They just want it to latch. Let's see if that broke it. There she goes. There she goes. And last. So this one we're gonna soak it, put it face down. I'm not gonna take that off. So
At least I don't have to clean that off, right? <laughs> when there's paint on the hub, you know that the painter was too overzealous. There shouldn't be paint in that hole. Now we wait. While that's soaking, I'm gonna go ahead and confidently make the key for this lock. Again, we have to both trim it down. It's a little bit too long. And we gotta put that side cut in there. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the trimming and possibly the side cut. So I'm gonna lay it down here on the surface. And we're gonna take off, ah! Fine tip sharpies never work out, do they? We're gonna go ahead and grind this down. And uh, just not that much. And then we're gonna go ahead and plan on putting the ward there. And once we do all that, I think it's gonna fit. What y'all think? Okay, now I need this, whether it's done or not. Ew. Oh, rubbers. Bend over, boys. It's time to get dirty. Ow, that never works. Time to do two things. Number one, make this fit. So close. Number two, check our key now that it's cooled off with the depth of the lock. And we're still too deep. So we need to go, where are we? In just a bit. Hey. How you doing, sir? Good. Okay, reassembly. Let's see, I think this one went, this one went up here maybe. That little doodad. Where'd that go? That go there? there this probably goes here that goes there new spring goes here we forgot which way this went 
That goes there. And where's our deadbolt? Deadbolt's in really good shape. So that has to press down on that. So I bet you it went like this. Nope. Bet you it went like that. All right, back together. So when you turn your key, it lifts up and throws it. So it looks like we only need our ward, side ward cut. So we can finish up on the key here. But let's try that latch. Okay. Oh. Chocolate almonds. I found a box of chocolate almonds. Back to this. We have cleaned the face. We had tried getting this latch to work, but it just would not work. We managed to locate a sergeant this one's made in u.s and this one says new haven connecticut but they are identical however the ward's different on this but if you look at the bottom it's broken right there and painted so i got this one for the latch only since this latch was not working not working at all all right so this latch is exactly oh, please be exactly the same yes exactly the same and everything so let's go ahead and it's not even bent so let us number one scrape it real quick just to clean it up so uh, we are fortunate to have a old house place that has tons of these and when I went back in there, I'll show you a picture of it here. Uh, they had done some sorting since I've been in there last time, and they had them all nice and laid out, easy to find. I used to have to dig down in. I used to have to dig down in there to, <laughs> to find that they were all just like thrown in a bin. And I even congratulated them on such a, I know my desk has gotten ridiculous since since that since I last stopped this video since we had a broken latch well, we are about to get to the key now I do recall it being this way so that is not a problem get that in there like it's supposed to this spring you I'm going to compare the two springs. So I got a good spring here that I can use and a good hub if I ever need it and a good spring there. And it looks kind of like kind of like what it's supposed to do. I'm going to move it over some uh, Okay, so single lever. Now we are to the point where we are finishing up this key. I somehow lost some footage, but to make the blank key what we need it to be, we're going to cut off here and here. 
and here on a bench grinder and a little bit of that and then we have our ward cut that's going to be going across there so bench grinder Not the same key, but the process is the same. Excavating metal to be able to make it easier to file. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see where we're at on that. Now it looks like once we get to the right spot, it's gonna lift that up and throw it. So all I got to do is cut it to fit. So this is our new haven, which means I have to go ahead and cut this edge. It does need to, where are we in camera? It does need to be ground down a little bit more, but let's go ahead and cut this edge and see what happens. And also it's still too thick. So I'm going to take a little bit off each side. So honestly, one of the best ways to cut one of the wider blade keys with that edge cut is with a plain old hacksaw. Clamp it down in your vise and this, that needs to stick up just a bit. Basically, I'm going to make my outside Oops, oh, I'm messing up the head, shit That'll buff out Careful not to mess up the head of the key There we go, let's just use the front of it here Here Beside it. So what I'm doing here is ex excavating the metal, which will make it easier to file for one thing, and give me nice straight lines for that file to go down into. So there we go. Let's take this off and. Let you zoom in real close. Yeah, let me go grab a file. All right, this little jeweler file will work to clean up that. Just a little jeweler file with the cuts on the edge. Some of them do not, but some of them do. And that is just about the width that we need to be at. So now I'm just going to flatten it. Let's try the other side here. Nope, this side worked better. Go ahead and pull that out and raise it up a little bit. So I could have just filed it, you know, 
didn't have to use the hacksaw, but I saw the hacksaw sitting there, so I figured, hey, I will show you another way to do this. So you could have just as easily just filed it down. All right, let's see what that does. though like right on it so I'm just going to use the file and go down just a bit more but it looks like I am yep good it just needs to go a little bit deeper um, on this side so let's knock that out I'll just leave that with a file over her. See how that did. All right, now I'm going to, because I know it's too short, what I'm going to do here now is, or too, uh, still too wide. I'm going to initially, we still have to, we still have to clean this up but I'm gonna take it from here. I'll take that part off so that it'll leave us a little bit more of a tip. And again, you can file, I'm not gonna do that. Alrighty, y'all. Let's get this little key finished off, shall we? That may get it. Still a little thick. A little thick. That's okay. I'll go ahead and put it back together. Try it on both sides. I could go a little bit deeper with that too, for that side anyway. So now I'm gonna pull it this way. And 
groove it a bit deeper. Groovy. Oh wait, that needs to be. Not exactly flat, so there we go. And what was I saying? Groove it. I know what the problem is there. So what's going on is it is rubbing on the edges. As you can tell, if we look at it, see how the edges is rubbing on that, especially on that side. And that is meaning it is rubbing. Oh, ooh, I didn't even notice those wards. And look at those wards. Well then. And then if we come in from the other side. Okay. So there. And there, we need to make another cut, but this cut needs to be, where are we? Instead of, on the edge like that we basically have to let me, do, let me do a better we basically are going to have to cut where you can see it was rubbing there and for it to work on both sides there so watch this
beautiful. That side just doesn't want to doesn't want to go. Needs to be ground down a little bit. So I'm going to fine tune this key totally. But that's what we got so far. started life as this and ended up as this ready to go back into service. So when all is said and done with our cool key that fits our cool lock, sometimes you can get the pre-cut, pre-made keys and they will also work the lock. That is because the side cuts where it's kind of curved out right there is designed to bypass any ward wherever along the key it may be and the thin blade compared to the thicker blade allows it to pass the case however these are much cooler just thought I'd point that out Sometimes they work. Don't get those plastic tip ones. Ugh, they're terrible. <laughs>